Hello and welcome back once again to How to Paint with Acrylics. I'm glad that you're joining me again for this episode. I get a lot of questions from my students at the studio that I work at. Uh, how do I paint a lighthouse? A lot of people get into art because they have a certain passion of what they want to be painting and a lot of people like lighthouses. So uh, I have this uh, picture here of a lighthouse. You can see it's on a rocky cliff with some water. And I thought this would be a really great lesson um, to help teach about, uh, number one, drawing a lighthouse, and also there's a lot of great opportunities for water effects. I haven't really uh, talked about water yet in any of my videos, so we're going to give that a shot. There's also some really cool rock opportunities here, and of course some mist. Um, we've kind of talked about creating um, distance with mist. Uh, so we're going to also look at that today. So I um, we're going to get started with the sky here. It's kind of a neutral, uh, like a white with a blue. It's not a perfectly blue sky, and it's not a perfectly white sky either. So we're just going to kind of get our uh, sky going here. And you can feel free to coat a lot of the... I'm not real happy with that color. I think I'm going to add just a smidgen more white to make it a little bit lighter. You want to make sure that it's a different color than what the ocean's going to end up being. So, and it's okay if you go all the way down to the bottom of the page because the sky's going to be kind of in the background the whole time. Um, I might just add a smidgen bit more. Um, in the actual picture here, there's no clouds, so I'm just I'm going to try to make this very uniform and as even even as I possibly can. Okay, so um, right away. We're going to start with background objects. We're going to create the line where um, the ocean starts and where the sky ends. So I like to just create my a line going across showing where uh, that ocean starts. So ocean starts here um, and uh, we're going to start working with water effects. So now that we're working with the water, you can use your full dark blue. Um, and just get your base color for the ocean going uh, down here at the bottom. And that's looking really, really good, Mix, mixed together. Um, the ocean isn't just pure blue, it has a little bit of green in it also. So we're going to add green, and I'm also going to show you how to create some waves so that you can have a more realistic ocean. As you can see here, um, the waves are kind of... This, you can infer that there are waves also behind the rock. So we're going to start with waves behind the rock. Um, notice that there's white foam for the wave um, caps. So I'm going to add a little bit of white for the wave. Um, my technique for doing waves is a little bit different than how a lot of people do waves. I hold the brush so that the back of it is in my palm and then I hold it with my index finger and thumb and I kind of ride up and then down. And see how that's turning into a really cool um, a wave look? And you can kind of go down a little bit more and you can definitely see you don't want to have it all uniform that way and you can also roll onto the edge of the brush a little bit and you can just take your time with this that was a good one. You just want to have um, a bit of a variety in how the waves look. And so you're actually going to build your rocks on top of that, above where the waves are. All right, and I think that's looking pretty good. Um, uh, next, we're going to go on to um, kind of creating the rocks here that the lighthouse is going to sit on. So the rocks look like they're kind of brown, but they're a little bit tan. So I am going to add uh, some brown for where the rocks are going to be, and then to create the tan look, a little bit more yellow, and perhaps even a smidgen bit of white. Okay, and then the rocks start way over in the corner, so I'm just going to kind of scrape and push some of this over here. It starts down here, the left side of the image. Um, and as I talked before about rocks in my other video, thumb and forefinger and lift and drop, lift and drop, lift and drop. And see how automatically it's creating kind of a rocky um, texture. This is part of one of the concepts of art and art history. There's a lot of schools of thought about how texture works. 
I think that's really turning out really nice. It actually almost has um, a seashell or mother of pearl kind of effect. And I think that's very appropriate for um, this scene because it's taking place on a coastline. Okay, and I'm just carefully going across the whole image. You might grab some of this other color. And of course, I'm just using my wrist. It's all really in the wrist. I'm doing lift and drop, lift and drop, lift and drop. And there's a little bit up here that needs to be mixed in. Lift and drop, lift and drop, lift and drop. And I might actually even get a little bit creative and have some artistic license here and leave this ocean down in this corner. So it's like there's like a little cave or a grotto um, underneath where the lighthouse is. All right, that's very good. There's also light shining on top of the rock. So to create some of that light effect, um, I'm going to add a little bit of yellow and a little bit of white. And that will, and I'm just going to spread that very easily, and very naturally, because light travels in straight lines, so you're going to pull it kind of straight across. And see how that, how it kind of lights up the top of the rocks? Like here were the rocks, and then we added this beautiful light effect. Okay, and then so the lighthouse, this is what we all came here to see. Um, they have the lighthouse on the right third of the picture. So as I've done before in my other videos, I'm going to coat this pencil with a little bit of contrasting color paint so that we can have a straight line. This is how I like to make a straight line um, right here on the edge. See how that made a straight line? So I can see where this other third is in the picture. Okay, so um, the lighthouse, um, it's to get those straight lines on each side, kind of a triangle going up. I'm going to add some white. Since the lighthouse is white, I'm going to add white to that um, pencil again. And then just add, create that straight line going up here. There we go. That's one part of the lighthouse. And then the other part, um, got to get my brush out of the way. <laughs> and I'm just going to get do it on the other side here. And that's the other side of the lighthouse. Um, the, for the buildings, uh, you might want to also get creative with that. They're straight lined buildings, so um, I'm going to add brown on the um, brush, on the pencil here, and then just start making your buildings with straight, uh, straight lines here. Kind of like that, yeah. Oh, actually, I put one in the wrong spot there. I'm going to, I have to fill that in. Um, I kind of messed that up, so I'm going to add some a little bit of sky in there to because I wasn't supposed to put a building there. So I'm, I'm going to put it here on this side here. I'm going to find the part that's brown on the pencil and just press and press and press and press. Okay, good. And I'm going to, I have some more brown over here I'll scoop up and then get the pencil out of the way <laughs> and just kind of press. Ooh, it's a really cool wave over the rocks I have going on there and then just press press okay and then now I'm gonna fill in this one building on the left is brown so I'm gonna make it brown and then these other buildings are white so we have some white okay and let me just help fill that in where they were brown and where this one was white and re-accentuate where that is where the lighthouse is okay um, and then the top of the lighthouse is black, so you get some black and put that up here and just kind of gently smooth that out. And notice how the, the, you know, the windows are transparent. So how I make something transparent is I kind of go straight down to the canvas with my fingers and try to pull away to get that transparency back through there. And that's starting to look pre pretty good there. Okay. And then earlier we drew that line um, where the, the right-hand third was. So you need to get rid of that because it would be distracting. So I'm going to just slowly, I'm just going to carefully, I didn't get it all down here. I'm just going to blend that away all the way up nice and easy. Just blending that line so no one can see it. All right. And that looks... Um, Pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this one. Um, so there. That's that's how I paint my lighthouses. Um, oh, I forgot. We're gonna add some of the mist from the ocean in there. Yeah. 
So I have some pearlescent medium. I've done this in my other, other video also. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit um, down along the horizon and just add a little bit of mist here, just a little bit. Notice how it makes it kind of shiny and just gently um, get the top here because this is the most distant area up here. And so you still have a lot of detail down here in the rocks, but less detail up at the top where the lighthouse is. Okay, and uh, I'm going to sign my name down here in the corner and put my signature there. All right, and thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this, this video about how I draw lighthouses, and uh, I look forward to seeing your seascapes. Thanks. I'll talk to you later. Bye.